Welcome to day 4 of beginner yoga challenge. Today we will add some standing postures to the practice, moving through a slow yoga flow. But let's get started first in child's pose. Big toes touching together, knees spread on comfortable distance. Lower your forehead down to the ground and take a few deep breaths here to prepare your body and mind for the practice. Try to deepen your inhales, elongate your exhales. One more big breath here. Lift your body to your hands and knees, tuck your toes in, press your hips back towards your heels and then up to the ceiling for downward facing dog. Bend and straighten your legs one by one, sending the heels down to the ground, stretching the back of the legs. Then look forward between your hands and take a few small steps forward with your feet, coming to the top of your mat. Feet stay hip distance apart, bend your knees, relax your upper body, hug the opposite elbows, let your head hang heavy here and swing side to side, relaxing your upper body, relaxing your lower back. Release your elbows and with inhale slowly roll up to standing. Take your time here. Find a comfortable standing position. Grounding down through your feet. Relaxing your shoulders. Take a big inhale to reach your arms up, interlace the fingers all except the pointy finger. Exhale, bend towards the right to stretch the left side of the body. Inhale to center, exhale to the other side, big stretch. Inhale to center. Open your arms into cactus shape. Take a big inhale to lift your chest. Lean slightly back for standing back bend. Stretch in the front of the body. One more breath in. Breathe out and bend forward, slightly bending your knees. Relax in your upper body. Inhale, come halfway up, placing your hands on your shins. Move your shoulders away from the ears, creating long spine. See if you can straighten your legs. If your spine starts to round, just keep your knees slightly bent. Take one more inhale here. With exhale, place hands down to the mat, step back into plank position. Make sure your hips are not sinking too low and not piking too high. Body is approximately in one line. Strong plank pose. Take one extra inhale here. As you exhale, lower down your knees. Bend your elbows and lower yourself to the ground, keeping the elbows close to the ribs. Untuck your toes. 
inhale to lift your chest up for small cobra pose. Take your hands off the mat and see how high you can keep your upper body just using your back strength. That's your small cobra pose. Release your forehead to the mat. Inhale, lift your chest again. Exhale, release. Three more like this. Lift your chest as you inhale. Lower with exhale. And now tuck your toes in, press through your hands, sending your hips back towards your heels. And then up to the ceiling for downward facing dog. Keep pressing through your hands, lifting your hips up towards the sky. Knees can stay bent. Think of pushing your chest towards your thighs. Now look to your right thumb and step your right foot forward to your right thumb. If it doesn't step all the way through, just help yourself with the hand. Press down through your feet, inhale and reach your arms up for high lunge. Front knee is bent over the ankle, the hips are facing forward, arms reach up in line with the ears. Take one more inhale here, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, place the hands down, step back into plank, lower down the knees and chest to the ground. Inhale, lift the chest for cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes in, send your hips up for downward facing dog. Same on the other side. Step your left foot forward to your left thumb. Adjust your feet if needed. Press down through your feet. Inhale, lift up to high lunge. Exhale to sit a little deeper. You should feel a nice stretch on the front of the right thigh, on your hip flexors. Big inhale. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Step back into plank and maybe try to lower down in one line this time. Or lower the knees down to the ground first, you always have that option. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your hands, keeping the spine long. Step your right foot forward and bring your back foot a little bit closer so you can lower the heel down to the mat and lift your arms up for warrior one. The hips are still facing forward but the back heel is down on the mat which makes this position harder than high lunge. You can adjust your feet as much as you need to feel stable here. Try to keep your front knee bent over the ankle. Take one more big breath here. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back to plank and then lower down your way. Knees lifted or knees on the mat. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, adjust your right foot so you can lower down the heel. Lift up for warrior one. Keep rotating your hips forward as much as you can. You might feel a much deeper stretch on the hips in warrior one than in high lunge. But if you don't like this pose for some reason, you can always substitute it with high lunge. One last inhale here. 
Exhale, hands down to the mat and lower your body down. Inhale, cobra. Lift your chest a bit higher. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now step your right foot forward again and lower down your left knee. The toes can stay tuck or untuck, whatever feels better on your knees. Reach your arms up for low lunge. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, lift your chest, open your arms into cactus shape. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the chest. One more inhale to reach through the fingertips. Exhale to lean back and lift the chest. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Bring your left foot forward and lower down your right knee. Low lunge on the other side. Inhale, arms reach up. Sink deeper into the hips. Feeling the stretch on the front of the right thigh. Reach up through the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift the chest. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back to downward facing dog. And then bring your legs forward, laying down on your back. Straighten your left leg and hug your right knee into the chest. Squeeze your right knee a little bit closer. And then bring it over to the left for a spinal twist. Straighten your right arm on the mat and look to your right hand. Bring your knee back to center, straighten your right leg and hug your left knee close to your chest. One more squeeze. And then bring your knee over to the right, coming into spinal twist. Look to your left hand into the opposite direction. Bring the knee back to center, bend both knees, bring them closer to the chest, bring the forehead to the knees, take a big inhale here, and with exhale release to the ground, straightening your legs and arms, closing your eyes for a moment in Shavasana. Let your body relax and stay still for a moment.
If you are ready, slowly roll over to your favorite side and come up to seated. Thank you for practicing with me today. See you tomorrow.